Adrian Gasmani's Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can use this amazing tablet Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. For me this tablet is just great and I really like how effective and fast it is. So I'm going to show you right now what you're going to find on the outside. So the first button right here on the top is for turning off and turning on the display and also if you want to power on your tablet. So when I'm going to press it once I'm just going to like turn off the display or turn it on. Then you're going to have the volume up and down here. So as you can see, when you're going to press the volume up and down, you're going to turn down the volume or turning up. And then the next thing is here on this slot here. This slot is for micro SD card. So when I'm going to open it right now. And look at this. This is uh, the card right here that I already got. And I'm just going to put it back. So this is where you can add your micro SD. When you're going to look right here, what are we going to find here? Here, you can attach your pen because there is like a magnet or something. So when you want to walk, so walk, walk somewhere, you can just easily put it here and it's not going to drop. See? And then you're going to have the camera right here. So that's pretty much about it. Now, when you're going to open the display, what you can do? On the bottom left, you're going to find here a notes. So in the notes, you can start writing. I'm going to show you soon how you can use the pen. So let's say that you want to just add a quick note because you just like had an idea or something. You can find it right here. Then, when I'm going to close the display again, here on the bottom right, you're going to have the camera. So when I'm going to hold it and swipe it a little bit, I'm going to turn on the camera. And then, you're going to have notifications right here. So when you click on notifications, you will find notifications right there. And then when I click again, I see I like the settings here, or what the music would be playing and everything right here about notifications. Now how to open a display? To open display all you have to do is a little bit like swipe on the screen like this and then you're in and you are directly in Samsung Galaxy Tab. So right here you're going to find uh, this is the home page where if you're going to hold it you're going to find all the pages here and you can add a new page if you want to and you have option when you hold for the home page add a wallpapers and change that if you want to or you can add a widget so here you're going to find all the widgets that you can add and you see right here so you're going to have the uh, gmail quick actions something from chrome from contacts, so gallery, Gmail. So let's say that I'm going to add uh, something from Google Chrome, like Chrome Dino, Dino. And look at this, here we have it. Now to transfer it somewhere else, I will just take it and I can just move it right here, let's say. And I can have it right here. What you can do is you can move also all apps here. So let's say Galaxy Store, I'm going to move here. Play Store, I can move here. So you can play around with it and you can optimize your homepage how much you want. So it's not like you can only add the widgets. You can manage applications also. Now when I'm going to swipe up, you can have all the apps here. So here you're going to find all the apps that you can also, let's say in the future, install you're going to have access right here to that. Now, uh, to go to the battery life, battery life is going to be always on the top right. And when I'm going to swipe down from the top, you're going to have access to like notifications and then also the quick menu here. So when I'm going to have with a quick menu, you're going to find things like Wi-Fi, a sound that you can have like turning it off. Uh, with a for quiet mode, Bluetooth, auto rotation, airplane mode, flashlight, 
Power Saving, Location, Link to Windows, Screen Recorder, Quick Share, Dex, Smart View, Nearby Share, Icon for Shield, Dark Mode, Do Not Disturb, Cal Text on other devices, Second Screen, and Dolby Almos, and other things here, like scan the QR code. So here you would have just click the menu. Uh, then you can have the brightness here that you can change if you want to. And then when we go further, uh, you're going to have like the notifications that you can clear. Now, the next thing I want to show you before we're going to jump on how you can use the pen is that let's say that you're going to have like a lot of apps opened. So let's say I'm going to open this one too and this one also. I'm going to lower the brightness. So to close applications, it's pretty simple. On the bottom right, you're going to have the three things here. So when I go here, this one is going back. So uh, in the right corner, this one is going to always get you to the home page. So let's say you're here and you go to home page. Let's say that I'm going to open Netflix and you're going to find it always here. Then I'm going to have home page or and that's how the uh, going back button works. And then you're going to have this like three lines here. That's like the hamburger hamburger menu for uh, opening all apps. And here you would find all applications that you have opened. So what you can do when you're going to press close all, you're going to close everything. But if you're going to swipe up, you're just going to close it one at a time. So let's say that you want to have these four opened. You can do it. Also, if I'm going to open on the icon above uh, the like application, you can have a split screen open in pop-up view or keep open. So let's say open in split screen. And right now you can have split screen right here. And then you can have calendar on another. So here I could like, let's say have a notes and then I would just add it to my calendar. So that's how something you can do. And that's uh, how it's effective, right? So now I go to home button and as you could see, everything closed. But when I'm going to go back to hamburger menu, you see that always you're going to have uh, like right now these two apps together. So this is pretty amazing in my opinion. Now, when we go further, I'm going to show you how you can use your pen. So when you're going to be here in notes and I'm going to use the pen, let's say I'm going to click here. Okay. Okay. And now what I can do, look at this. I can Okay. Okay. Start. Okay. So right here on the top, you're going to have option to write normally, or I can start oh, using this thing here and start writing. Look at this, or I can go like, so you can write and the responsivity is just amazing for it. Now, when we go further, then we're going to have this thing here. And then this. So this is like razor. Then you can like have this. If you're going to have some symbols here or something, you can use that. And then you're going to change the colors here, right? And this is for the lines. Let's say I'm going to have, oh, like really like this one line. Do you see the difference? So that's something you can do too. Then I can change the colors here and you can always, when you're going to double tap there, you can change it. So let's say I'm going for yellow or let's say just dark blue. I'm going to increase the. So let's say it's going to be dark blue and done. So that's how we can do it. And now let me show you. So this is like interesting thing here. You can use a language and when you're going to write, it will automatically change the text. So done. I think that's this or this one here. Let's see. 
C. And let's say. Hello, it will automatically uh, write here to text. Then you're going to have uh, emojis here. And other things here that you can use. See, you can make it bigger and really play around with it. So you see like how many things there are with this tablet. Now when we go further, you're going to have this option to... Marcus and you see right here that it's going to recognize the text and it's going to convert to it so that's another thing that you can do then hmm. let's go like this and you can change it look at this with this one and then you can also change and increase alignment and these symbols are really great so the uh, the two things like the second thing here from the end let's say I'm going to create a circle see or I'm going to have triangle or a heart it automatically will create a triangle heart or something for you so that's how it's done and this is how we can use the S Pen like there are many apps you can use it for design but I just wanted to show you what you can do with it and now, uh, when you're going to be in notes, I want to also show you how we can use the settings. So when I go again up and I'm going to press settings, here you're going to have the uh, connection to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, data usage, then connected devices. Then you're going to have the modes and routines. So sleep, theater, driving, exercise, sounds and vibration. So here you can have it to vibrate or mute. Uh, then you're going to have change you can change notification sound ringtone system sound all of that you can change right here and then you're going to have the app notifications here that's another thing that you can do then display here you can have like let's say to dark and then you can change the brightness also and then uh, you have like font size here and all of that that you can change then you can have the wallpaper and style. Uh, this is something that I already showed you. This is where you can change your wallpaper. Home screen. This is like the layout. Lock screen. This is how your lock screen looks like. And then security and privacy. Where you can find it. You can have like lock screen here. Accounts. Find my mobile app security updates and all of that. Then you're going to have location, safety and emergency, accounts and backup. Advanced features. Like S Pen here. And then you're going to have like the digital well-being that's like how much time you actually spend on the on the tablet battery and device so like here you're gonna learn about uh, your battery state storage and memory apps here you're gonna find all the apps that you can uninstall or change notifications for or clear clear the cache general management where you're gonna change the language text to speech date and time and all of that and then you're gonna have the accessibility software update and about the tablet so uh, that's pretty much it about it and how we can use the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 if you can have any questions guys let me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye